I picked up another big bag of pine needles. The leaves of my pineapple plant are turning more and more yellow, so I need to improve the soil. Otherwise, it won't be suitable for most plants to grow in. This time, the collected pine needles have some white fungi on them. Look at these patches. These are indigenous fungi. I originally planned to mix them directly into the soil, but upon closer inspection, I found insect eggs. Plus, I can't guarantee that there aren't any pathogens inside. Since I mainly grow vegetables and fruits, I don't want to use chemical treatments. Sun drying in winter won't be effective for sterilization or pest control either. So, I'll use fermentation to kill pests and bacteria, while also turning it into fertilizer to enrich the soil. First, I step on the clumps to break them apart. This helps the fermentation process. The dust is overwhelming, so I need to wet it down a bit. I'll mix some molasses water for this. For composting, we always use M, bacteria, and molasses. After dissolving them, I pour the solution into a spray bottle and spray it onto the pine needles until the dust settles. Fermentation also requires adjusting the carbon to nitrogen ratio. It's hard to mix properly in the bag, so I pour everything out. Pine needles are a carbon-rich material, so I need to add nitrogen materials to balance the ratio. The ideal carbon to nitrogen ratio for compost is between 25 to 30 to 1. This rapeseed cake fertilizer residue is a nitrogen source. Using it not only balances the ratio, but also improves the compost quality. The pine needles and fertilizer residue should be mixed at a ratio of about 4 to 5 to 1. I mix them thoroughly first. Then, gradually add small amounts of molasses water. It's important not to pour too much at once, because the moisture level should be kept around 50 to 60 percent. Adding too much water at once would make it harder to control. Once it's well mixed, I sprinkle some M compost bacteria on top. This mix contains various beneficial microorganisms that suppress harmful microbes and reduce unpleasant odors during composting. If using fresh pine needles and rapeseed cake, I can sprinkle a bit more. I keep mixing until the texture reaches the right consistency. When I grab a handful, it holds together, but breaks apart easily with a light touch. That means it's ready to be packed, since it's winter and the temperature is low. I place a layer of foam underneath to insulate against the cold from the ground to prevent water buildup. I lay a layer of dry pine needles at the bottom of the box. Now, I fill the foam box with the prepared pine needle mixture. It's also possible to mix materials while packing, but that might result in uneven mixing. Although mixing outside takes more effort, it ensures better consistency and moisture control. Finally, I poke a few holes on top to allow airflow, then cover the box and let it ferment. 